Not enough truck drivers could mean not enough gas at the pumps this summer, and that could have a ripple effect. Channel 11's Alyssa Raymond learned why so many tanker trucks are sitting empty. There's plenty of gas, there's plenty of trucks. So what's the problem? You're looking at it. 25% of the country's tanker trucks are just sitting in parking lots with no one to drive them. That's according to the National Tank Truck Carriers. Dwayne Sargent has been in the trucking industry for 30 years. He also trains drivers at Keystone Diesel and Butler. He says there's an inordinate amount of carriers looking for drivers right now. The trucking industry has been dealing with a shortage of drivers for the past five plus years now. When the pandemic hit and the demand for gas fell, drivers left the industry. Driving schools such as Keystone Diesel also got shut down, halting the pipeline of new drivers, making the shortage even worse. And now that demand for gas is back up and is expected to continue to grow as we head into the summer travel months, the industry is scrambling to figure out how to get the supply to gas stations and other customers. On average, we'll probably get at least two calls a day saying, hey, we're looking for drivers. Uh, it's I, I laugh and joke about it and said if I had a vending machine and could produce them, boy, we'd be retired by now. They'll hire 40 or 50 guys today if you can get them. I mean, they're just they're turning away customers because of drivers, not because of the availability of freights. Commercial driver's license training at Keystone has been up and down. Last summer, it was up. For a period of six months, training classes were booked out for three months. That's no longer the case, but Sergeant hopes that starts to change. Speaking of change, he says it's the perfect time to change careers. I spoke to someone who decided to do just that. I'm working on that story for Channel 11 News at 5, plus the incentives the truck industry is using to get more drivers. Reporting in Butler County, Alyssa Raymond, Channel 11 News.